Thompson Society. Thompson Society. On the scene. Doctor. On some days, you wonder what it all means. And on some days, you find out. It's like suddenly seeing a huge black pig in your headlights when you're running 80 miles an hour on ice. Boom. Total clarity. No more gray area. Some people live for these moments, these terrible flashes of clarity and naked truth. And on some days, I am one of them. But not always. It is not a lot different from the rush that comes from electroshock therapy or getting hit by lightning. Zang! Immediate fire in the nuts, bulging eyes, and the smell of burning hair. It is an acquired taste. The first one's free, but after that, you have to really like it. When I was 15 years old, I used to run around naked on the Cherokee Park golf course in Louisville on summer nights when the thunder and lightning happened and the greens were drenched with rain. One night I was huddled under a big elm tree about halfway down the long first hall, which rolled gently up to a hill above the lake, when I was suddenly blasted about 10 feet up in the air by a jolt so terrible that I couldn't even feel it until I was tumbling and twitching on the downhill side of number three. And when I looked back to where I'd been, I saw the tree was on fire and split down the middle. It was hissing and popping and sputtering in the rain. And when I finally went back for my clothes, they were burned and scorched, and the gooseneck putter that I'd had in my hand was burned black and twisted like a pretzel. That is lightning, Bubba. Ben Franklin got off easy. And they say he wasn't naked, but you never know. Ben was weird, but he had enough sense to get a patent on it, even with one of his arms charred halfway off. He was alone when it happened, knocked unconscious for eight or nine minutes. Then he crawled back into his workshop and made a new arm for himself, which he attached to his bicep with magnets. That's why you always see Ben Franklin in long, puffy sleeves and why he always carried a cane. Some people hated Ben Franklin, but it never seemed to bother him. He was extremely smart, and he had a keen understanding of politics. He was dirty, filthy, and covered with fleas, and he took his women by the twos and threes. Whoops, scratch that one, just kidding. Ben kept himself clean as a whistle, except when it rained, and then he went all to pieces. Dr. Gonzo, right there. The VB, Thompson Society, join us, join us. Come on down, Johnny Depp. Venice Beach, Thompson Society. The written word is alive. Read more books, feed your brain, and think for yourself.